Let's talk about basic DICOM retrieval. So now we can talk about how the images get from packs out to the workstation. Basic DICOM image retrieval is accomplished with the CGET SOP class. The Merriam-Webster dictionary describes the verb get as to go after and bring, as in get me a pillow, I need a nap. So when you think about it, get is actually a two-step process. First something has to be located, and then it has to be brought back to the original location, and the key there is brought back to the original location. When a clinician clicks on a study at the workstation, the DICOM service has to go get that study. It has to locate the study on the PAX archive and then bring it back to the workstation. CGET performs both of those functions sequentially over a single association to find and retrieve studies. In human terms, it might be like going to the shoe store and asking the clerk to go into the back, find your size, of a particular type of shoes and then bring them out to you. The CGET IOD transmits the search attributes for the images to be retrieved. It's very similar to the CFIND IOD and uses the same patient study or patient study type of searches. Here's an example of a CGET IOD. You can see that the retrieve level is at the study level. And this is the patient ID so it's looking for a study that belongs to this patient and it's looking for this particular study instance UID. Each study has its own UID. It's actually generated by the accession number, and so it's looking for this patient, this particular study. So that might correspond to the chest x-ray for Mr. Smith, we'll just say. The CGET DIMSI, the CGET service, transports the CGET IOD to the CGET SCP, which performs the query and return matching values. This is where it starts to get complicated. CGET has a reverse C store sub operation embedded in it. Once the query results are compiled by the CGET SCP the PAX archive, it will begin the process of sending those studies to the requesting AE, the PAX workstation, using the DICOM C store service. Although we typically think of C store as being a modality sending images into the PAX archive for storage, in the CGET SOP class, the PAX archive is actually sending the images to the PAX workstation for storage and ultimately to be displayed. In other words, when a user wants to look at a study, they click on it at the workstation. The CGET uses the CGET SOP class to first locate the study in PAX, and then as part of CGET, it runs a sub operation of C store to move the images from the PAX to the workstation so the user can view them. Ideally, the first images will arrive in 3 to 5 seconds. So this is a CGET response message. Okay, so the CGET request has already been processed. This is the CGET response. And what I want you to notice here is the number of sub operations that are remaining. Okay, remember when an image gets moved, the whole image doesn't get moved at one time. Remember, the image gets cut into sections, 9, 12 packets that form one image. And so these sub-operations have to run one after the other to move those data packets bit by bit until the whole image is reassembled on the other end of the transaction. So this is what the response message looks like. And you want, just want to pay attention here to the sub-operations that shows you that it took four sub-operations to move these data packets. Advanced DICOM Retrieval. Advanced DICOM Image Retrieval is accomplished with the CMOVE SOP class. CMOVE is practically identical to CGET with two important differences. CGET always returns the images to the SCU. CMOVE can be used to send the images to any other AE on the network. Okay, so CGET always brings it back to the original requesting location. If I want to move images from the archive to a different workstation, one that I'm not sitting at, I have to use CMOVE to do that. So I can move images from the archive to the PAX CD burner, even if I'm not right at the PAX CD burner using MOVE. CGET uses a single association. CMOVE uses two associations, one for the query and another one for that C store sub operation. So it can be looking for the images and once it starts to find the results, it can start to pull them back. Other than those two differences, CMOVE works just like CGET. It performs the same query and retrieve functions in the same manner. The CMOVE IOD 
transmits the search attributes for the images to be retrieved. It's very similar to the CFIND IOD and uses the same patient study, patient study type of searches. Here's an example of the CMOVE IOD. Note that the group elements, also called DICOM tags, are identical to the CGET IOD. So these numbers here are identical to CGET. Again, it's at the study level. Again, it's looking for a particular patient with that ID and a particular exam under that ID using that study instance UID. CMOVE DIMSI. CMOVE service is very similar to CGET service with the addition that it includes a MOVE TO location in the CMOVE request. Right. So here you see the MOVE destination. Again, just to beat this horse completely to death, CGET always returns it to the original location. You request it from one place, it brings it back to that location. CMOVE can send it to some other place, a third party. And here you have that move destination shall be set to DICOM AE title, the destination DICOM IE to which the C store sub operations are being performed. So this gets a little confusing. When do I use CMOVE and when do I use CGET? Which is better? In general, CMOVE is the best choice inside the hospital network and CGET is the best choice outside the network. CMOVE is more secure because the destination AE title has to be a known location in the PAX database. Okay. CMOVE just won't send to any possible AE title anywhere in the world. It has to be a known location. It will only send to workstations it knows. It will only send to modalities it knows. If it doesn't know you, you can't use CMOVE. And CMOVE is faster because it can query and move at the same time using two associations. And this is really effective if you want to look for something like all the chest x-rays done yesterday. Right? If you're just using, I want the chest x-ray from Mr. Bob Smith, CGET would work just as well. But if you're looking for a broader search, all the chest x-rays done yesterday or all the Mr. Smiths in the hospital in the last two weeks, right? CMOVE can query, find the first Mr. Smith, start moving it on the second association and continue to run that query and find more results. While on the second connection, it will be moving the data. CGET uses a single association initiated as an outbound request. Consequently, it works much better with firewalls as compared to the two associations. The second one would be an inbound request from the CMOVE SCP of a CMOVE, which is why it's a better choice for external DICOM transfers. And I'm pretty sure that last paragraph, I just completely lost you. Your head is probably spinning and you're like, what the heck is he talking about? Let me, I think a picture will help here. Let me do some drawing. Let me grab paint and stick it in this window where you can see it. And forgive my feeble drawing skills, but let's say this is your hospital, right? So this is your hospital. And over here you have some outside images that you want from some other place. Now between you and the outside images, you're going to have a firewall. Right. So what's going to happen when you start a CGET is the CGET request will go out and because it's coming from inside your network, it will automatically open a port in your firewall and that request will continue out your firewall and it will go to the outside images, right? Because CGET uses a single association to bring those images back, you just have this one line and those images will come back this direction through the existing hole you've already created in your firewall. So that is a CGET connection. Now, what would happen if you tried to do this as a CMOVE? is it would look something like this. So you've got your hospital over here. That's your hospital. And then you've got this place that has your outside images you want. And again, you have your firewall sitting between these two things. So your CMOVE request will come out like that, and that should be in black. All right, so 
it will open a hole in your firewall and your CMove request will come out. But now, because it makes two associations, when it goes to do the C store, it's going to come back this way and it's going to run into your firewall and your firewall is not going to automatically open a port for a quest from a different entity. And that's CMove. And that's why CMove doesn't work as well for trying to bring in images from an outside enterprise because it's going to run into your firewall, whereas CGET with its single connection will work better. So, hopefully a picture was worth a thousand words there. Last but not least, some DICOM jargon. In the real PAX admin world, you're probably not going to hear folks talking about C services or SOP classes. Like every industry, PAX has developed its own jargon. And here are three important colloquial terms. DICOM ping. DICOM ping really is about the C echo or the verification SOP class. Nobody's going to say, hey, can you run the verification SOP class against that MRI machine? But they will say, hey, you need to DICOM ping the MRI machine. DICOM pull, that's retrieving images from another AE. That would be a CGET or a CMove. Nobody's going to say, hey, can you CGET those images to that workstation or can you CMove those to a different workstation? Not going to happen. That would be a DICOM pull. DICOM push is sending images to another AE. It could be a CMove or it could be a C store, but it's pushing the images to, from one place to another place. These are the terms that most PAX people use to describe the corresponding DICOM functions. Thank you for watching.